Today we're looking at ISL Online. You may be asking what is ISL Online? Well, it's basically remote support software so you can connect to mobile devices and computers and take control of them, transfer files and even chat. So that's really ideal and it's very easy to set up and use. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the software and how easy it is to connect up to someone else's machine. We're going to do it in pretty much less than a minute. So basically, the customer will call you and go, hey, I'm having problems with my computer, can't get on Facebook, can't use the sound or whatever the issue may be. So all you do is tell the uh, customer to go to the ISL website. So it's pretty straightforward. So if you go to islonline.com and press join a session, or you could put the link on your website like we have. Obviously, you can customize this a little bit better than we have, but this is just done really quickly. It took us five minutes to do. We click the live support. Then you tell the customer, right, okay, can you please enter this number or what I've got on my screen, which is 330260090 and press join. And then it'll pop up with a little file saying it's downloaded. All they have to do is click on that file once it's downloaded and it'll automatically go through. It may pop up and prompt for permissions uh, depending on how the machine's set up. So give it a few seconds. Yeah, it's, uh, do you want to allow changes, blah, blah, blah. You obviously tell the customer, yes. That's it, you're connected. You have now got control of the customer's computer. It's that simple that easy and not only that obviously you can do all sorts of things obviously you can obviously go around on the web browser and so forth you can go into the control panel you can open terminals whatever it is you want to do you can basically do it just like you were there uh, with the exception of physically looking at the actual machine itself uh you've got a chat window on there as well so you can talk to the customer on there for whatever reason um you're not using the phone anymore or you'll say you'll wait for a message or something you can do that you've got options of uh, sending files over as well so you've got file transfer which is pretty straightforward you've also got the chat which was said you've got screen sizing and fitting the screen you also if you are connecting up to someone who's got multiple screens it gives you the option to connect up to each screen or all of them at once you can even put markers on the screen so let's just say you on the um, the computer the customer's computer uh, and it is popping up with some sort of message or you want them to see something specific uh, let's say so what you do is basically go right let's draw a marker you see this little bit here you need to do whatever or you can put a little marker on there to point at that position and so forth so the customer can physically see what you're actually telling them to do and wanting them to look at uh, so it's really up to you you can do whatever you want in that means it's very easy you've got options for on-screen keyboard and stuff like that as well and you've got all the settings at the top like tools you've also got got uh, where you can uh, change your region and so forth uh, you've also got settings as well so the quality you can choose what quality you're connecting up as you can see this has gone as medium but you can connect up as full or low if someone's got a really slow internet connection and this software seems to work on everything um what i've tried it on from the low end core 2 duo laptop all the way up to uh, a top end i9 processor there doesn't even seem to be any difference in usage to be honest obviously it is a little bit slower but it does work and um, it's easily usable so there you go so that's how you actually connect up in less than one minute with obviously a few extras there as well okay so let's have a look at their website so first of all it says remote support access and work you've got a free trial there 15 day free trial of their main package which is pretty good it also tells you uh, basically about a video here as well so you can watch this video here if you wish let me just mute that so it gives you a rough idea it tells you all the basics you need to know and it tells you a lot more on the page about how secure it tells you about all the different on there controls files chat monitors views whiteboards keyboard system info tools record setting you've got basically everything it tells you everything you need to do there it's got a lot of options a lot more than i've seen on most other remote support software so that's pretty good on the features list it does go in a bit more detail so it says log in invite provide support and so forth you've got quite a lot on there so that's pretty good 
You've also got downloads, so you can download the main client, not the client, the host software, which would basically, if you were providing the support, and then obviously your class has what they call an operator, or I'd say host, but again, really up to you what you want to call it. And then you've got the software for receiving support as well, which is pretty good. You've got mobile apps as well there, so Google, Apple, Microsoft, so forth. And you've even got iOS, Android, and different versions there as well. Web conferencing and stuff like that. Previous versions and, and even beta versions are available as well. So that is pretty good. So you've got a good option there for trying things out. Going on to the pricing, you've got basically four options. You've got the free trial. You've got the cloud option, which I think is the most popular, as they're saying, and it's the package what I'll be going for. And basically, it allows you unlimited access to as many machines as you want, but you can only do one machine at a time, so one session at a time. But you can upgrade that by paying a little bit extra for multi-sessions, which is £89 per year per license. But it does say there, managed computers, unlimited, operators is unlimited, which is good. Because on the operator side things, I know like on TeamViewer, you're only allowed um, the software on three machines at once, and you have to log out one to log into another if you've got more than three. But they only let you swap around so many times, where I find that a bit of a pain because generally I use one of five machines, and it makes it a little bit difficult but swapping between them, and then they lock you out if you do it too many times and want more money, which is a bit of a pain, where with ISL, you don't have to do that. So you can put you basically the host software or operating software on any of your machines you're going to be using. As long as you're only connecting to one machine at a time, you're absolutely fine. So that's pretty good. And again, it's for 12 months, obviously, for that's for a year, you get free updates, upgrades, and all the stuff like that. They do have a self-hosted option for 590 as well. So that's there. It tells you everything there. So that's pretty good. And that's 89 per license per year for the updates and upgrades if you wanted them. So that's good. Free trial, as we said. And then you've got pay-per-use. So if you don't use a lot and you're thinking, actually, I only use probably 30 minutes every week or month or whatever. Well, they do have this option for £70. And for £70, you get 500 minutes. So as long as you use those 500 minutes in a year, then you're absolutely fine. You want to top it up, you can pay a bit extra to get a few more minutes, which is pretty good for people who are not using it a lot. And it gives you a lot of the features, what you would normally get under the most popular thing. So you've got enterprise options on there as well. So don't look to you if you're going to be going into that sort of things, but you can basically set it up with your logo and so forth. We showed this before. Obviously, I just use their website, but you can set it up basically for to look like your web page and so forth. So that's pretty good. You've also got the help options on there. There's lots of bits into the help which uh, you got user manuals if you really want to do that what i find useful is the video tutorials they've got lots of them they're not very long they're only like between two and five minutes maybe six minutes on a couple uh, long but they're very simple and it'll tell you basically how to use it with ease without having to mess around and as you can see there it's very straightforward and simple. So that's pretty much it for the website, with the exception of obviously starting a free trial or creating an account. And if you want to do that's at the top right hand corner. Otherwise, you can give them a call and they've even got a chat option on the screen as well. So if you wanted to talk to them, you could go through their chat system if you wanted to. Okay, to set a 15 day free trial up, it's pretty straightforward. You just enter your email address, password, agree to the terms, and then you'll get a verification code in your email. And away you go. You're pretty much all sorted. Once that's all sorted, then you can log into their website, which is straightforward as well. So all you have to do is basically, well, if you want to start a new session, as in you're the operator or the host or whatever you want to call it, you just press start new session. It downloads their software, which you then click on, and then it'll install it, and wham, bang, you set up. Simple as that. You can launch the software separately if you've already got it installed. It will ask you to log in with your username and password as well if you want. Again, you can invite someone by just pressing invite, and it, basically you just type their email address in, press send, and that will then send them an email and say, right, you can click on that, or you can just give them the code over the phone like we did at the start of the video pretty straightforward so there's not much you have to worry about there 
the software itself, the ISL light, you've also got computers option at the top, which actually shows ones what you have set up where you can connect to whenever you want. You've got options on there, starting a new session, uh, finding the computers, um, set up unattended access, and you can even create groups and stuff like that. So you can easily get to uh, machines you need to access all the time, quite regularly, very easily. And you do have a few options on the side as well, if you wish to do that. Otherwise, within the cloud-based software, as in on the website, you've got options of remote support on there as well. So again, that shows you basically a very similar screen you've just seen on their software. And you can, again, search uh, on there as well if you wish to. And you've got other options on there as well. You've got live chat, so you can do... Uh, uh, that as well, but you have, uh, you've not uh, yet logged in with the uh, the Pronto application, so you have to set that up to do the live chat. And you've got web conference as well, so you can basically do a web conference, so pretty straightforward, really. And then you've got different options at the top regarding your license profile and so forth. But the actual software using it itself is very easy to do, as you could see at the beginning of the video. Okay, so let's have a look at the software itself. Obviously, it allows you to access the customer's computer so you can do whatever you want on there, go in control panels and stuff. That's pretty straightforward. And most of you probably know what that does anyway and allows you to do. But you do have other items on here. So you've got control here, which allows you to share your screen as well. You can stop sharing. You can request control. You can even pause it, transfer it to another operator in even, or even invite another operator. So you've got lots of options on there. The next option is basically for your file manager. It allows you to share files and so forth, uh, which is totally up to you if you want to do that. So you have to uh, allow and so forth first. Uh, but that'll let you transfer files between the two. We've got the chat window, as we mentioned before. Uh, and we can type in there, obviously, a message, and the other person can see it as well. Obviously, if you're on the phone, you're probably not going to see that. But you could always share links, like, uh, for certain websites and stuff like that, if needs be. So that's the advantage. Next is the monitor section. We don't have a huge amount up here because we've only got one monitor on the screen we're connecting to. But if you did have multiple screens, it'd say you'd have a square with a one and a square with number two in it for screen one and two. Or you can see all of them like multiple windows at once. So that's pretty good. Next up, you've got the, obviously the view option, which is this here, which allows you to yeah. extend it one-on-one -on -one or however you want to. Then you have the whiteboard, which allows you to draw on the screen and stuff like that, which is good. Let's move the chair out of the way. You've got the eraser, so it lets you erase that. And then you got the markers, so you can say to someone, oh, yeah, you need to go on Microsoft Edge and they can't see it. You could go and click on it, and it puts a big arrow uh, next to it so they can see it. Or you could just draw a big arrow, depending on how you want to do it, really. So that's the whiteboard options on there. So that's pretty good. You've also got a couple other options or another option as well. You've got remote control as well. Uh, so uh, that's pretty good. You also can see just on this bar underneath, you've got the option to stop, uh, obviously sharing. You've got uh, remote control as well, and you've got a remote user has control. And if the other user starts moving the mouse, for example, there, you can see local user has control. So you can see who actually has control of it. So you'd have to obviously tell the user to stop using the mouse or revoke the control of the user so they can't actually do it. So it gives you a rough, rough idea. You've got your keyboard option on there, so you've got remote layout and so forth, which is pretty straightforward. You've also got information, so it'll tell you system information about the machine, so you can see how much RAM CPU has been used, how many monitors, the specifications, and everything you should need to know, even if they're running on battery or cable, which is good as well. Then you've got your tools. You've got administrative mode, so you've got enable restart and resume, request remote sound, and a few other bits and bobs there as well. Next one is record, so you can actually record what you're doing for training purposes, or you even need to save it for the user to show them what you've done afterwards, or even um, you could record yourself doing something. Let's say the customer doesn't know how to do something. You could record yourself doing that, send it them, and then say, hey, 
this is basically how you do it. Just play this back if you forget in the future or something along that lines if you wanted to. Next, you got settings, pretty straightforward things. You got you can set up for quality or speed optimization, or you can set it manually so you can put 64K colors or put it down on a very low eight color, um, ideal for dial-up connections if anyone still uses those. Uh, and then you've got view options as well, so it gives you a few more options. You've got toolbar options on there and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward, that is. And then the last button at the top is end the session, which basically disconnects from obviously the other machine and that's the end of the session so that's pretty much basically it so in conclusion right negatives first well in all honesty i can't really see any negatives other than you have to pay for it which obviously they're not going to give it you for free but saying that you do have a few different options available so you have a budget option for if you're only using a few minutes every year or you've also got options on there if you're wanting unlimited or even self-hosted so there's lots of variations there you can go for to set up the software it's very easy and once you've got it set up it takes less than a minute to connect up to a customer's computer and it's very simple to do and the customer shouldn't get too confused in how to do it and it seems a little bit safer than you using something like team viewer for example because the actual host as in yourself would have to give the customer that number rather than some random person ringing up and saying, hey, give me your team view or ID number, and then they can connect straight up to them. Also, not being limited to how many computers you can actually use the software on. So if I have got like 10 machines I wanted to use the software on, I can connect it up to all of those and basically remote support into anyone's computer from those. And again, things like TeamViewer, they generally restrict you to only allowing you to use three machines at once. I think I've only just scratched the surface with all the features this software actually has and I'm very impressed and one thing I will definitely be doing when my TeamViewer subscription comes to an end, I will be buying ISL online and using that permanently for all my remote support needs.